Well, uh, Scott Slim Bell coming to you live from Sacramento, California, July 2nd, 2016, 12 15 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. And we're talking about people sell how they buy, or your buying style is your selling style. And I want to specifically talk to you about negotiation, but first, I'm going to have to tell you a story about myself, and it's going to shed some light on my selling style, but it may also make you think about how you sell as well. So, I love unique things. I love cologne. I love stuff like Tom Ford Private Label, Creed, Altier, Ramon Monagle, probably stuff you've never heard of. So for me, I like to know that no other guy is for the most part gonna smell like me or be anything like me, okay? I got teased a lot as a kid, Scott stinks. The whole, there's a whole huge story behind it, but just know I love cologne. I probably have 150, 160 colognes, and I love the stuff that you just can't buy anywhere, okay? So in my mind, when I buy the stuff and I know it's unique, I know that there's a certain cost associated with it and I'm cool with that because I know not everybody's gonna buy it because of it, okay? So in my mind, if I ever saw this stuff on a discount, especially a super huge discount, sometimes they'll give you like a sample bottle, a travel bottle, but this stuff like never, never goes on sale, okay? So if it did, in my mind, I'd freak out and go, wait a minute, time out. I don't want everybody else to have what I have. That's not cool. I, I, I wanna be unique. I wanna, I wanna be me, right? Okay, so when I see a discount on something, if, if it's too big of a discount in my mind, it devalues what's going on. So when I sell, most of my discounts are going to be small. Okay, so give me a second. There's plenty of people who are opposite of me who like super huge discounts. And in their mind, they think that they're getting a good deal. Right? In their mind, they're thinking, hey, this is just absolutely awesome. This is fantastic. And you know what? I'm getting a really good deal right now. What you need to know is whether you're over here, right, the guy who likes or girl who likes a really good deal, or you're the person over here like me who, like, I'll buy stuff occasionally when it's on sale, but that's not like, that's not how I shop. I don't go out and go, you know, where can I save five cents on a pound of butter? And I'm not knocking anybody who does that. It's a personality style. But you have to know that when you're selling, how you negotiate is going to be what you think of discounts, okay? Most of the time, if somebody asks me for a discount, it's not a steep discount. And if they want a steep discount, they are going to have to fight for it because it's not going to happen for me. Okay. Now, conversely, I ride with salespeople and they're over here on this side. And like all of a sudden, let's just say it's a $20,000 $20, product. Like in their mind, they automatically take 10% off. And so now they're at $18,000. And the buyer starts going, well, wait a minute, time out. Right? Just because I asked for a discount and you gave me 10% off and lobbed $2,000 off, that's, that's a lot of money. So how real is your price? So some of this conflicts with, with a buyer because like somebody like me, if they have to fight for it, it may frustrate them, but eventually you know, they're going to get something. They're not going to get everything they want. They're going to get something. But if they go with the other route, with this person over here, and the discount's too big, there's a problem. Okay. So once again, there's arch enemies in the buying style and the selling style that if you're more of a fan of a small discount to feel like, hey, cool, I really don't need a lot to buy, when you sell to somebody who wants that huge di discount, it's going to be difficult for you to give it if that's what you do, okay? Now, this person over here who gives a huge discount may freak out a buyer like me over here who just like, I'm cool with a little bit. I don't need a lot. I don't need it to be a super huge discount. Like in my mind, I start freaking out. Now, once again, this isn't judgmental. You got to understand this. This has nothing to do with judgment. There's nothing wrong with this style. There's nothing wrong with my style. It is what it is, but it totally influences how you sell and how you buy. So your buying style is your selling style. Your selling style is your buying style and people sell how they buy. People negotiate how they want the information. People present how they would want the information given to them. So this creates a challenge because you don't know who you're sitting down with. And the only way that you're going to know is to ask really good questions. And a lot of times salespeople are in such a hurry to get to the close that they're unwilling to do that or they're so scared to get rejected, they never get to the point, okay? So if your buying style is your selling style, you need to pay attention to how you negotiate and the things that you like in the negotiation process because it really does make a difference on how things operate for you, okay? So your buying style is your selling style, your negotiation style is your, your selling style, your presentation, presentation style is your selling style. All this stuff really does matter, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.